Hey friends, it's Lee with Turquoise Valentine. I'm back, yay! So happy to be back. Even though I'm all stuffy, <laughs> my sinuses. So I am wanna, everybody's hopping on. So I hope you, if you're watching replay, I hope you enjoy the video. There's some people hopping on, yay! There's my friends. Hey everybody! Forgive me for looking so bad. I don't feel the greatest, but <laughs> I'm here. I don't feel bad. I just, it's up here. My sinuses. Hello, hello. I hope I'm going to get to see comments. Yes, there's one. Hey, Patty. Hello, friends. I'm so glad to be back. I have missed all of you so much. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Diane. Yay. All the hearts. Thank y'all for the hearts. Hey, Debbie. I'm so excited to be back. And I'm just trying to make sure I have everything. I don't know what that's doing out here. Hey, Susan and Judy. Hello. Hey, Nancy. I'm so excited to be back. Look at my, my Bucky's cup. <laughs> so, um, look at my new shirt. I got it cute. I love this shirt. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Jane and Christy. Um, I got this. This is, uh, from my friend, um, Misty at Six Money's Creations. This is a shirt I ordered from her. It's not in the club. I ordered it from her because I saw it on her page on Facebook, and I was like, I need that tie-dye shirt. It's so cute. Hey, Patty, I've missed y'all too. Hey, Arlene and Elizabeth. I'm so glad to be back. And we did have a nice visit. <clears throat> we had a, had a good time. We went to Universal on Wednesday and had a big time. Liz, I love it too. It's very glittery. It's from Six Money's Creations. It's so cute. Um, I'm feeling, I don't feel bad. I'm just all stuffy and it's, it's just my sinuses. Um, okay. Yeah, Diane, I will check and see. I think I saw it. I just got to go back and look at it. <laughs> um, yay. Thank you, Patty. I've missed all of you too. Um, we had a good visit with Craig's, uh, dad and stepmom and the boys. And we went to Universal Wednesday and had a good time and, um, we had a good trip. It was a long trip, a long way down there. It's 12 hours. It's like right about a 12 hour drive. So, um, we drove it all the way back straight through, but the, on the way down there, we, we stopped half well, a little over halfway. I know my sinuses are terrible right now and I sound like I'm talking under a pillow or something. And yeah. Kaylee put the link up for my shirt. So if you would like to get this shirt, it's from my friend Six Money's Creations. And I love, love, love this shirt. I had to have it because I love the tie-dye. I think it's so cute. Hey, Donna. Hey, Shan. Hey, Karen. Yay. Hey, Karen. Yay. Okay. So we're going to do something kind of simple tonight because I'm all this stuffy. Um, yes, I came to Florida and the weather was, was it was cloudy. But it was warm, so I was thankful for that. So, but anyway, um, so I we're gonna do something kind of simple, but it's effective. Like it's gonna be cute. I've already done one today. Oh, you did my trees! Yay! Yes, everything will be restocking tomorrow night. The trees, everything in my Christmas collection, earrings, everything is gonna be restocking tomorrow night at seven o'clock Central Time. Vicks Vapor Rub on chest. Yes, that's when my mother used to do that. And, uh, I think about her when I smell that. So, yes, I will be putting Vicks on oh my, and it's really not here. It's just really here. Like my sinuses are hurting and, you know, my throat's dripping in my throat. And that's really it. Um, I mean, I'm sure I picked up something at Universal cause you know, there's thousands and thousands of people. So, um, you're watching Dolly Parton's Christmas. <laughs> hey, Carol. Hey, is it Katrina? Yes. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is, is really cute. I think it's cute. Um, but it's something you can readily get from Dollar Tree and I have already some prepped, but you're going to need these little, um, the snowflakes. So if you have these wood snowflakes, these, or we're also going to do it with the trees. Okay. If you have the little tree cutouts, or if you have this, I got this cause I wanted to do one of those bleach shirts and I wanted to use these for my bleach shirts, but now I'm using them for something else. T 
10 inches of snow. Oh my gosh, Karen. Oh, it's like in the 40s here and I'm freezing. Uh-uh. Hey, Peggy. I can't do the snow. I just can't. Um, hey, Dawn. Hey, Candy. So these um, snowflakes, if you pick these up from Dollar Tree, we're going to use these. Um, of course, you can use the little trees. I don't know about these because it has a little bottom on it. We're going to see. And then, um, hey, Kathy and Marlinda. Yay. Hello, Roberta. And the snowflakes. Y'all probably pick these up and think, okay, I'm going to get them because I don't know what we're going to do with them, but I'll do something with them. Well, here's the date. Um, yeah, I, it's not the flu, Teresa. I've been tested for that and the other, and it's neither one of those, so it's just the old good old crud stuff. Um, now, my son and his wife went to Disney at the same time we were down there. Uh, we didn't see them, but they got the flu when they got back. So, Vic's on my feet. <laughs> yeah, hey, Marcedia. Hey, Debbie. Okay, so what we're going to do is I've already painted some just to save a little time, but I am going to paint one uh, just to show you, know, show you how I did it. A little snow today. Awesome. Hey, Rose. Hey, Cinda. 20 tonight. Ugh. Okay. So, you know, these little snowflakes come like this. They have a hole where you can hang them. Um, and there's five in a pack, which is kind of a bummer because we're going to use two of these um, to make one. You'll see. Foot of snow, Samantha. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, Tina. Okay. So, I'm going to show you how I painted them just because it's just easy. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you how I did that. I still don't have any plates out here. And I meant to grab some. Hey, Denise. Hey, Tina. So I'm just going to take a baby wipe and put my paint on that. And that way it won't be on my table. On my, I put paper down because of this craft that we're doing. Hey, Melissa. Tammy loves the snow. I like the snow for a few minutes and then I'm over it. <laughs> we're just not used to it here in the South. So when we get it, it's like, oh, it snowed. And it's like, okay, I'm ready for it to go away. <laughs> hey, Denise. Hey, Barbara. Okay, so I'm just using just regular old white paint. Um, so we're going to paint our snowflakes. But I have missed y'all so much. Hey, Kathy. Um, so this is how I painted it. Uh, let me, I'll do it right here. It's not going to hurt anything. I did my others over here today So I, because I did try this. Um, hey, Patricia and Peggy. So, this is the easiest way that I found to paint these was this. I just laid it down, and then I'm just going to basically just go all around because it's going to get all the edges and everything painted. So, I just kind of did it almost like I'm doing a stencil, I guess. But, um, we're going to make something super cute with these, and I'm going to put these I know exactly where I'm putting these in my house so they're gonna be super cute and easy to do so I so miss y'all hey Rosa and Nancy supposed to warm up in Texas you like to visit the snow Nancy I agree and then I don't want to you know I don't want to live in it every day okay so see it gets all of the sides the edges everything really quick and then you turn it over, and you got this big mess right here. And, you know, you've got paint on that side. This is super messy. <laughs> hey, Teresa. Um, so then I'm just going to kind of brush the other side a little bit. So I'm going to show y'all just how I painted them. Because that's just super quick, and you're not sitting here doing each little thing. You're just kind of scrubbing around all that paint. Hey, Julie from Ontario, Canada. But I did miss y'all. We had a good visit. Craig's dad's doing good. He got a good report today. Um, he had an MRI Monday, and they said that, that the tumor has not grown anymore since May, and um, that they're going to change some medicine around, his steroids and stuff, because it's, it, it's making his skin real thin. Okay, so I got the back side done, but then you're going to flip to this side again and make sure you don't have any of those gobs of paint because you know how they go to the other side. So I'm just going to kind of go back and forth a few times and get those gobs of paint where you don't have paint gobbing up in all your little holes. Um, <laughs> your, the shirt reminds you of 7-Up colors. It does, doesn't it? 
Yay, Gwen! So, yeah, so I just painted it super easy. And then I'm, I'm going to make sure I got everything covered. No gobs of paint anywhere. And then I'm just going to basically lean it up over here somewhere to dry. Because both sides are wet. So I'm going to make sure they're, it's just kind of leaning up against something on my table. So I'm going to do this one again. I'm going to show you how I did it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to lay it down. Hey, Deb. And then I'm just going <laughs> to... The, whatever this is called, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to get in all these little nooks and crannies and um, without making a god-awful mess and it taking forever? Because I had several to do. <clears throat> Y'all forgive me if I cough and sniff and everything else. Hey, Linda and Donna. So that's all I did. It's just that. So it covers it really quick. And then you have this on the other side. It's just kind of goes through the other side. But then you just kind of, you know, paint real quick and use some of that paint that went through to the other side and on your paper to get that side coated. Hey, Becky. Yes, Tina, we're thankful to God that he got a good report. Um, it has not grown anymore, which is really good. But they're going to switch some of his other medication around because his skin is just like paper from the steroids and stuff. So they are going to change that around, hopefully, and get that straight. But he's, you know, he's in good spirits. He's doing good. Um, swirling. Janie, thank you, Swirling. Thank you, Marlinda. I love my shirt, too. So you're just going to kind of go back and forth to each side to get those gobs of paint to make sure you don't have any stuck you know how it goes through the other side and make sure you got it all covered so I've got it all covered and this is super messy <laughs> but anyway so I'm just gonna prop it up over here and let so both sides can dry the mist there we go hey Danielle now I gotta get this off my fingers my fingers were coated this today when I did, I did, I painted all these because I tried to um, prep a little bit so I wouldn't have to paint them and let them dry. Scrubbing. Yeah, there we go. Ellie is scrubbing. <clears throat> Somebody said, oh, Ellie is new. Welcome, Ellie. Welcome. Yeah, he got a um, good report. No, no snow here. I don't want any snow. <laughs> Not that I don't like it, but okay. So now, so I've got gonna be wet but I've got all of these snowflakes that I have already done and they have dried today so I did these are the ones that came in the little pack like I just painted and then they have different ones of this set so see they're different so if you go and buy them you'll notice they're different snowflakes and like I said, I was going to put these on a shirt and do the bleach technique, like on a blue shirt for winter. Thank you, Andrea. My shirt is from Six Money's Creations. It's on her website, the number six, and then Money's Creations. She's my friend, Misty, and she I do her t-shirt club, but this one you can just buy outright on her site. And I when she sh showed it on her, on her Facebook page, I had to have this because it's tie-dye. I thought it was so cute. Okay. So I'm going to start with the little ones that were in this pack, like this. And that's just going to be super cool, y'all. Just wait. Hey, Shelly. Okay. So, where, okay, here we go. So I'm going to take my little X-Acto knife, and this is a metal ruler, probably from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and here's the little hole. So if you want to hang these, you know, you want to cut through the hole, Okay. So I'm going to lay my little metal ruler down like this and go straight up and down. And I'm going to sit here and take my X-Acto tool. We're going to cut this snowflake right in half. And I should have gotten my, whoop, my cutting mat. But I'm just going to keep going over that same path. Trying to stay next to that um, ruler. 
and I'm going to go through it several times. And then this is very thin. So I'm just going to kind of work it back. Ooh, don't do that. Well, let's cut it a little bit more. I'm going to cut through it just a little more because I don't want to tear it because it's very thin. There it goes. All right, let's see. The first one I did today, of course, came out wonderful. This one's not going to come out wonderful because it's thin. It's so thin. And, of course, I tore it a little bit, but I can fix it. There we go. All right. So yes, I tore it a little bit, but I'm gonna, it's gonna be okay. Whoop. <clears throat> All right. So now, this is our snowflake with our hole up here. And here's our snowflake with the hole up here. I'm, I'm about to fix it. Let me just, let's do a little bit of work on it and fix it. Because it's so, such thin wood, it'll just break so easy. Alice, yeah, I have a box cutter somewhere. I just use these all day long with my wood stuff and my laser stuff. Hey, Sue from Arkansas. The snowflakes are from Dollar Tree. They're in like, you know, the little um, packs that hang up like this. And then these are just hanging up like this. So you can use any kind of little wood snowflakes. Um, all right, so here's this one. And then I fixed that one <laughs> that I cut and kind of made it a little ratty. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dot of glue or a line of glue right down the center of that snowflake. And we're going to make these 3D. Snow in Wyoming. Awesome. I like to look at it, but then that's about it. I don't want to live in it for months at a time. I just don't think I could. I guess I could if I had to. Hey, Tina. It's good to see you too, y'all. I'm so glad to be back. Okay, so now we have this. All right, and I am going to take a little bit of glue and run down the side where they meet. <clears throat> and you could definitely paint this after the fact after you glue them together, if you so wanted to do that. And I actually did that with the one that I, that I tested. I painted it after the fact. Hey, Judy. Hey, Terry. I know I love my shirt. I think it's so cute. I got it in the mail. Yeah. Day before yesterday. And I was like, Oh, I can't wait to wear that shirt. It's so cute. So I'm running my glue down on the other side now. So now we have a 3D snowflake. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with mine. So I'm just running glue down each side. And it's clear, so you're not going to see it. And you can paint back over it if you want to. So I'm just going to hold it. Hey, Vicky. I know. I miss all of y'all, too. Most northern states are prepared for snow. Yeah, most northern states are prepared for snow. We don't even have snow plows here or anything because they would just sit in a warehouse somewhere. Okay, so now we have this cool... I painted this one after, but now we have a cool little 3D snowflake that you can either... One, you can hang it because the little hole is still up here at the top. You could put your line through there because I lined all the holes up somewhat up there up top. And you could hang this on your tree. Or I'm going to stand mine up like this in front of my fireplace. I have like this whole display thing in my fireplace. And I'm going to just kind of stand them like this. I got this idea because there are laser files that, that I could cut that are like this to where the snowflakes hook together. But I was like, you know what? We could take Dollar Tree ones and we can cut them and just glue them back together ever so carefully. And I'm going to let them sit like this. Hey, Cindy. Thank you, Sue. Um, but I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to do, this is a bigger one. So see the size? But how cute are these? Would these be just sitting on your tear tray? 
or sitting on your entry table or like I'm going to put them in front of my fireplace in my little vignette that I have going on. Um, cause I kind of have like a little sled and I have stuff in front of my fireplace. Um, and I'm going to just kind of kind of mix these in between. Yes. This would be a cute garland. Yes. Look how cute this would be. See, it's all the way around. And you can't tell that that, that we cut it and you can't tell that we made that. I mean, it looks just like it came like that, but it's so cool. So I'm going to try the big ones. I haven't tried the big ones. Yes. Heidi on a tear tray for winter or Christmas or anything like that. Now these have a hole at the top and the bottom because they're in this big, long thing like this. And they came from Dollar Tree. But, you know, they're super thin, and they're easy to cut. These are thicker than these are, just a little bit. So, I'm just going to put my ruler down. Now, y'all see why I painted them. <laughs> but I, just, I thought it was a super cool idea because, like I said, I see laser files like this that I could cut the snowflakes to fit where they would fit together. But I was like, you know, let's use something that everybody can do and... You can pretty much find these, or you could find, um, we're going to do the tree in just a minute. These little trees. Where's the tree? Where's my tree? I painted the tree. These little trees uh, from Dollar Tree. We're gonna, I'm going to try it in just a minute and see how it looks. And it'll be able to stand up on its own. So I'm just kind of scoring that. And like I said, this is a little bit thicker wood. So, it may take a little bit more to get it to, to cut all the way through. But it's like balsa wood, so it's super thin. Yes, I'm going to, Glenda, I'm going to put some, some glitter on them and make them all pretty. I am going to do that. So, I'm just trying not to break it, but I'm trying to get all the way through. And y'all don't worry, I use one of these all day long, so I'm not going to cut myself. And if you happen to break it, you can fix it. Alright, so now I've gotten it almost all the way through. Okay, there we go. So here we go. There's my snowflake. Alright, here's my second one. So you need two snowflakes to make one snowflake. <laughs> That sounds so weird. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Myra. Thank you. So, I'm just going to put a bead of hot glue. I tried to super glue these at first. And don't try that. It does not work. I had to go back and end up super uh, hot gluing it. <coughs> thank you, Nilma. Uh, Tina, I just came up with it because... Like I said, there's laser files that you can cut stuff like this to where they fit together. And I was like, hmm, why can't we do that with a Dollar Tree thing and we'll just m cut them and make them like that? So, you know, you just take something that you've already seen and kind of we'll just try to make it into something else. An idea. But these would look cool hanging in an entryway, you know, because they would kind of, they would hang and kind of spin around. From the ceiling, they would be so super cool. To bend them and glue them together. Oh, you know what? That would be super cool if we made like a little uh, topiary. Um, snowflake topiary thing. Ooh, that's a good idea. Now I'm going to want to do the big snowflake from Dollar Tree. Oh, you already have some, Donna? Awesome. Donna's going to be trying it. So, I put a bead of glue, and then I kind of let it set. But I am going and reinforcing it just a little on the sides, just so it's a little bit more stable. Kind of like a caulking gun. I'm just kind of going up and down that little crack. Okay. Super. How super cool would this look hanging from the ceiling? Or even your tree. Um, they look super cool. Look, 
what I was talking about is what if we did like a, a whole topiary thing, like, like that. Like stacking them and gluing them together, that would be so cool. But you could hang them and hang two together. Um, super, super cool. But I am going to brush them with some stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Susan, I will once I get um, all my stuff the way I want it. Mm. Pam, you're just now getting your notification. Wow. I had to uninstall my app on my phone today, my Facebook app. Because it wouldn't refresh, the feed wouldn't refresh or anything. And I just finally had to uninstall the app and put it back on my phone. Because it was like stuck or something. Hey, Terry, I'm glad to be back. Even though I'm a little under the weather, but I don't feel that bad. I just kind of miserable because I'm stuffy. Has anyone seen the glue pen? It's great for projects like this one. I have, Charlie. Um, I actually had one. And I just, I could not get to loving it. I just couldn't do it. All right, so I made my line right down the middle. And like I said, these are thicker than the other ones that I started with. So you may have to score it several times and be really, really careful. Just keep, you know, going down that same line and pressing down. Let's see. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, I've seen the glue pen. I had one. I had one from Michael's. It was like a blue and white, I think it was. But, I don't know. I just liked my good old one I got. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's like this little hacking little cough. Uh-oh, Kimberly. Well, I went, and I don't have that because um, I was kind of concerned that I did. And that's not, it's just, a, they told me it was just some kind of probably a little cold, viral cold. So, because I don't feel bad. So, I just kind of feel stuffy and miserable. Yes, I'm going to put some stuff on here. Y'all don't worry. Okay. So, you eventually, it will eventually come apart if you just keep working at it. Here's my other one. See how this got holes in the top and the bottom? And you are going to cover up the hole a little bit. But you could get some fishing line in there or something like that. If you wanted to hang these, I think it would be super, super cool. If you hung them from the ceiling. Uh-oh, Colin must be on. Hey, Colin. Hope you're feeling better. Hope you and Paige are feeling better. Okay. So, there's, there's that one. And we'll just run that glue gun right there and right here. Kind of like I'm using caulk. <laughs> you don't really see it because it's in the little crack there. Yeah, a lot of people just, you know, get in the crud. and um, That's what they said it was. Probably something, <coughs> something viral. Probably just a regular old cold, but... Anyway, um, I mean, I'm okay. I don't feel bad. I don't, so, no fever. <laughs> you missed my creative mind. Look how cute. All right, let me put my, my reinforcements on the sides. I just feel like it needs it, because, you know, it's just barely hanging on by that little edge. So, I feel like I have to put some reinforcements in there. Yes, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna put some glitter on them. But look how stinking cute, y'all! Standing on your table, you'd have 3D snowflakes. They're so cute. Um. Oh goodness, cold. Yeah, rhinovirus. That's probably what I have. But you know, I was around so many people in Universal, and we did the hand sanitizer and did all the stuff. Um. Okay, so I'm going to do my trees real quick, and then I'm going to um, put stuff on them. But here's the trees. Now, they have, they also have these trees. You know, they always have these trees. And then they have these trees that come in like a pack of five. Let's see. Color your own ornaments or something. 
Anyway, and I painted them green. Uh-oh, I'm going in and out. Uh-oh. I hope not. I got new internet. A different provider. All right, so I am going to cut straight down the middle of this tree and see if I can't do the same thing. Haven't tried this, so I don't know how well this is going to look, but we're going to see. I don't know why it wouldn't work. These are a lot easier to cut, I will say. Uh, my glue, it's an ad check from Walmart. It's no fancy, dancy, nothing. It's just a dual temp, precision tip, $10 glue gun. <laughs> okay, so here's my tree. They're pretty easy to cut like the, um, the snowflake was. So now I'm going to put my, let's see, I'm going to try putting it on this first and see what, see how that works. Because I don't always go, I can't make a real straight line. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stand it up just so I can get the bottom level. And hold it straight. Sure Bonder Mini Pen. I, I mean, I had a blue and white one. I don't know what the name of it was from Michaels. And I just couldn't get the hang of it, I guess, maybe. Hey, Linda. Yes, I'm back to crafting. Okay, look, y'all. Look at the tree. And it's going to stand up on its own. Okay, I think I got enough glue on there. I don't think I need to reinforce it. And you can see the glue a little bit because it's green. But you can always go paint back over it, maybe. So I'm standing it upright because I want the bottom to be level so it'll stand. Hey, Kay, thank you. <laughs> hey, Patty, I'm glad to be back. Becky, you're okay. You can always watch the replay. But look how, y'all, look, it's a standing tree. <laughs> look. And it, a minute ago, it looked like this. Now it's like this. You could have a whole little forest of trees. So cute. How cute. Look, and then you got snowflakes the same way. So cute. All right, I really want to try this because I want to see if it works. Because it has the little, you see these all the time. Because it has the little thing on the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. But I can't see why it wouldn't work. But we're going to just, because inquiring minds want to know, we want to know if this is going to work. Uh-oh. Move that so y'all can see. So I'm just taking my little exacto and I'm just, just scoring and scoring and scoring. And see. Nope. And you can tell when it's ready to break. It'll just kind of give. And if it doesn't give right away, I'm just going to do some more because I don't want to break it. Because it is very thin. And see, it'll just... It'll just come right apart. So we're going to try it with this one, even though it's not painted. Now you got to go to Dollar Tree tomorrow. Okay. And that's got like this... But this is a super cool way just to take these and make them 3D where they'll stand. And you can use them on your trays. You know, just your little Christmas scenes and stuff. Be so stinking cute. Or you can make them into ornaments. And it's just going to be a little bit of flair to it. I know, I love this snowflakes too. And they just kind of stand up on your table. Tiny pom-poms on the holes. Oh, Susan, that would be cute. Be super cute. Oh, look. <laughs> so cute. All right, let's do this one. See if it's going to stand up. Because it's got that trunk on the bottom. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But we're going to see. I guess I should have stood it up like this. Oh, 
hold it. Yes, it would be nice on a card. It'd be cute hanging off somebody's presents under your tree. All of these. I'm just, oh, it'd be so cute. Okay, so see, I don't know. It stands. <laughs> Look at it. Because see, I was worried about it standing up. Because it doesn't have a lot of little area there. It's, it's, a, it's a little... It's a little weebly, but it's okay. Myra, yeah, it would work with stars. I don't see why it wouldn't work with your stars. And yeah, you could cut the trunk off and probably make it work. But look, it's, it's, it's a little wobbly, but look, <laughs> so cute. Um, but so easy, guys. These are so simple, and look how pretty they are. I mean, I'm like wanting to hang them and... Can't you just see these kind of spinning? But, and of course y'all know I got some glitter out here and all kinds of, gotta have glitter at Christmas. <laughs> you like it when I get excited? I know, I, I'm just a kid, I'm sorry, I just am. And it doesn't take much to, to impress me to get excited. It's like, oh, it worked, it worked. Okay, so this is my Mod Podge. <laughs> And I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to kind of hit the high parts and sprinkle a little glitter on mine. This is Extra Fine Glitter Crystal Diamond from Walmart. Y'all see how much I have left? Not a lot. I've used it over the years on stuff. But I just kind of want it. And I know y'all aren't going to be able to see the glitter. But it's very, very, very pretty. It just adds a little extra element to them. Oh, yes. You could put the little cubes at the bottom of the trees. That's a good idea. And that way you would give it like a little trunk with some stability. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, had that, they did have a pack of Dollar General trees that fit together like that. And I do have those, and I have some in my Christmas decor, too, that I, that I did paper on and stood them up, and they're in my Christmas decor still. But you could do diamond dust. Oh, y'all gonna fall, fall off my chair. I don't know if y'all can see. See the glitter? I just kind of did it on the little, the little tips of the snowflakes. I didn't really do the bigger tree to the bottom of a jingle. Yes, you could do the jingle block. That would work too. That way it would stand up a little bit better. Let's see, I'm running out of room to hold on to my snowflake. So I'm just kind of brushing it on. Just getting me some glue. What's that on the end of my paintbrush? <laughs> glue strings all right so this is probably about the only time i ever use glitters at christmas okay okay all right so that one's pretty much done and i know y'all can't see it but they're so pretty but they're so adorable i just can't I can't wait to put it in front of my fireplace and just stand them up in the middle of my my decor that I have going on on my fireplace. Yeah, the glitter's pretty. It's crystal diamond. It's Walmart glitter. I have tons of glitter, but, you know, I only break it out for Christmas. But I've just had it over the years and kept it. Ooh, my nose, y'all. But I have silver, and then you can also use, let's see, where is it? This stuff, you know, the string glitter, the paint that's got it in there. If you don't want to glitter everywhere, you can do that. <clears throat> trying to think of what to do to this tree. Let's see, I might just, where's my other glitter? And I like this glitter, if y'all don't know. This is just clear glitter. It's iridescent glitter, but it doesn't have a color. And they have it at Walmart, and it looks like it looks like diamond dust, but it's not glass. 
but it turns out really pretty. I think I'm gonna put that on my, my tree. Let's put that on my tree. It kind of looks like a uh, sugar cookie, uh, sugar or something. Glue in the holes right off the bat. So I'm gonna cover my whole little tree with it. Glitter lasts forever. <laughs> it is glitter. You can't get rid of the glitter. Okay, y'all can probably see this. Oh, well, let me do this side. Because it kind of looks like glistening snow, like diamond dust does. Or like sugar on a sugar cookie. See? It doesn't have a color. It's just iridescent clear glitter. Tiny pom-poms. Yes! So cute. Yes, yeah, snow on a tree. That's what I started to do was brush it with some white. But I think this... I got it in the holes. I think this glitter... It's going to do it for me because it looks like it's frosted. That's what it looks like. Ah! So see, it looks like, isn't that pretty? Just Walmart glitter. Nothing fancy. Just in the little kids department. Which I have diamond dust. It's over here. Um, like I said, I don't, I never know where I'm going to put stuff like this <clears throat> and I don't want it to get in my kitchen glass and me put it cause I decorate everything. So I don't, I don't use it a lot, a lot, but it is super pretty. But if you have some and you like to use it, then by all means, you use it. Uh-oh, trying to bend my tree. Running out of places to grab a hold of. No wonder nothing's coming out because there's nothing in there. Okay. Oh, my nose, y'all. Look how pretty. I've got to try this. It's so stinking cute. And a minute ago, it looked like this. One, 2D. Now we got 3D going on. Look at it. You can have a whole little, um, little winter village. You went to the dentist with glitter on your cheek. Well, this time of the year, they'll just think, oh, she's been shopping and she's been in all the glitter and the ornaments and stuff. She's putting her tree up. They won't think anything about it. I know it is pretty with the glitter, isn't it? It's just this like in the little kitty part where the glitter is, it's just this little tube of glitter at Walmart. It looks like the sugar on like sugar cookies. It doesn't have a color. So just a little tube that hanging up at Walmart. And it looks just like snow or sugar. So cute. Yes, I gotta do all of my, I'm gonna do some with silver. Oh, red glitter on the trees would be pretty. Or even the, the glitter that's the, all the color. That would look so pretty. This is, this is Martha Stewart glitter, y'all. I've had this a long time. It's silver and it's beautiful. I know you can see that. Beautiful glitter. But if you can just do so much to these, you can even put people's names on them if you wanted to put them on a gift. Um, that would be super cute too. And do them as tags on your presents. But look at how pretty. See? So pretty. I'm just kind of um, sugar glitter. <laughs> that Barb, she's crazy, ain't she? I'm going to get to meet her in April, actually. Um, when we go to our business retreat, I'm going to get to meet Barb. I'm so excited. <clears throat> but Martha Stewart, are they doing, um, doing away with all her stuff or her crafting stuff at Michael's or what? I noticed they moved all the paint. Um, look. 
<clears throat> but I didn't know if they if she's not doing crafting supplies or is Michael just Michael's just not carrying it anymore. Uh Barb, yeah, probably so. You're probably going to have to like do a little hot glue so you can get it to hold while the E6000 is drying. But I don't see why not, but they would look pretty outside. And you could probably seal them with something. See, they're just going to have a little shimmer to them. Um, and snowflakes. Did y'all see um, the snowflakes that Mandy at Western Grace Home Decor did? My friend Mandy. She took some wood biscuits and added it to some big Dollar Tree snowflakes. And those snowflakes are so pretty. And I picked one up while I was out of town because I saw her do it while I was in Florida. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to have the snowflake. So when we went to the Dollar Tree, I picked it up because Mandy took wood biscuits and she added it to all the parts of the snowflake. And y'all, that thing is gorgeous. Something paint. You saw Martha Stewart paint at Dollar Tree? Wow. I just didn't know because Michaels used to carry all of her stuff and they got rid of all her paint and I used to really like her paint but you know now I don't miss it because I use it all the other stuff but um I just didn't know what the story was with all her craft and stuff but when you watch her show though she mostly cooks and stuff or see her on Facebook so stinking pretty. How pretty would that be on your tree? Goodness. Looks like something you bought at a store. So cute. So whoever knew that we could take this and turn it into this. So cool. Um, Chelsea, her page is called Western Grace Home Decor. Um, oh, Joann's. Joann's may sell Martha Stewart now that I think about it. Um, they do. They may do that because... I know Michaels used to have all their paint, and I have not seen it in a long time. But look at y'all, this glitter is beautiful. I've had it, I mean, I'm down to this, and I've had this forever. So, now I have it all over me. So I gotta get my little... Yeah, there it is. Nancy put it up there. Western Grace Home Decor. Whew, where's my... I don't even know where my vacuum is. Here it is. I got to get rid of some of this. If you didn't have one of these, you gotta have one. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It gets up the majority. Maybe not all, but most. <clears throat> I'm sure I have some on my face. I'm sure I have everywhere. But now you could totally use this. I got some silver. What's this? Oh, this is my hologram. It's really pretty too. And it's it's like Mod Podge, but it's got glitter already in it. So you're not dealing with you're not dealing with the glitter and the and the stuff and all the things. So it looks looks just like Mod Podge, but it has glitter in it. So and then you could just take it and brush it on, and it's not going to come off. And I know y'all can't see this, but it is really pretty. It's extreme glitter. This is called Hologram uh, by Folk Art, and it's so, so pretty. But you could, this way your glitter's not, you don't have to deal with the sprinkling and the pouring it back in. And I know y'all can't see this. Let's see. I can't see it, but it's so pretty. <coughs> My little vacuum. Yes, a little vacuum is awesome on Amazon. It's awesome. Gotta have it. So I'm just gonna, all of mine are gonna be kind of different. But I made some flat um, paint stick snowflakes, what, a year or two ago, I think. My fur baby shook and it glittered for a minute. <laughs> Um, and I put all of those up in my fireplace that year and they were so pretty up in the little gas logs. Cause you know, we don't use our, our fireplace much 
or we haven't used it and we've been here three years. Um, so I put stuff up in my fireplace when <clears throat> I decorate sometimes and I put all those snowflakes up in my fireplace and they look so pretty and these could be done the same exact way. How pretty would they be hanging in the fireplace? Be so pretty. So yeah, I'm all, just when I think I've got all the sides covered, I don't. <laughs> And this has like a green shimmer to it, I guess. The glitter in it is really, really fine glitter. I think I, did I get all the sides? No. Nope. And then you can cover up that middle part there where the glue is. And you could go back over that with paint where it wouldn't show. But I know y'all can't see that glitter, but it's stinking pretty. Hey, Jeannie. They are so cute. So, I mean, y'all, we could do so much to these. You could put, like somebody said, you could put little balls on them. You could put a star up here. You could put ribbon. I mean, you could hang them on your tree. And y'all try it with other stuff that Dollar Tree has. I know they have, um, they have the ball ornament. That's the flat wood like this. You could do it with that. Um, the snowflakes, and they are from... Dollar Tree. They're in like a little pack like this. And so we cook one and cut it in half and glued it to another one and we made it like this. 4D. So cute. I mean 4D. 3D. Whatever. And then I painted it first and then I did it. But you can definitely um, you know, paint it after you put it together. I just painted them first and let them dry for a little while. The trees, the snowflakes and trees are from Dollar Tree. Just the little, these little packs of ornaments. And I cut one in half and glued it to another one and made it like this. And then they can just stand like this. My little, my little wobbly tree. I'll have to paint him. But look how cute. And you can still hang them. Hang them from your ceiling. And can't you see them spinning? They'd be so pretty. Green because of your shirt. <coughs> and some of the snowflakes come like this. See, these are different. So they have different ones. So you could make two from this $1.25 thing of, sun, of sunflowers. Snowflakes. <laughs> um, so see, this one was this one. But see, this different. It's a different design of snowflake. Um, and then these... They come five to a pack, which kind of stinks because you need two per snowflake, so then you have an odd man out. <laughs> but if you got two packs, then you'd be good because then you'd have you'd have an even amount. Um, yes, I I like to buy this kind of stuff at Dollar Tree. I mean, it's a dollar twenty-five, and like we just I sat down today and I said I'm gonna try this and see if it works, and it worked. Um, and I was like, oh yes. Cause like I said, there's laser files that I have to where they fit together like this. So I was like, hmm, why couldn't we cut it in half and make this into this? It works. So cool. I know, Andrea, me too. I, I'll, I'll be like, we'll be going down the highway on our trip and I'll see a Dollar Tree and everybody goes, no, we're not stopping. <laughs> I'm like, okay, 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 we won't stop. So, but I did go in one when I was down there and um, visiting, and I went in the pop shelf, which was really cool. But how awesome does this look? But I'd love to see it tried on the round, you know, the round ball ornament, like this, like uh, these. I didn't, I don't think I have any of them. Um, and it would look 3D, it would be all three. You know, we, I mean, it would have four sides, it would be cool. Waiting on the 3D snowflake earrings, <laughs> Glenda. There are files like that. Um, I have acrylic coming. I'm gonna cut some snowflakes for winter. Um, it took, I took it to a card making class and everyone was in awe. Oh, the little vacuum? Yes, it's a must. And I'm sure it's all full of, yep. Fuzz and remnants 
and glitter. <laughs> so if you get one of these and then you're like, how do I charge this little thing? Um, well, if I can get the bottom on straight. There we go. Okay. So you have to twist this little top. This is how mine is. And there's my cord, my USB cord. And I don't hardly ever have to charge it. Every once in a while, I'll plug it up, but not much. The tree that I got at um, Home Depot is where I got it. And it's called Starry Nights. It's the brand. It's um, seven and a half foot, I think. Yes, it was. So it, it was actually $2.99. I think I told y'all $3.99. It was $2.99. The nine foot, I think, is $3.99. But I saw, Craig and I saw that tree last year in the store and we loved it and we went home and we talked about it and we're like let's just go back and get that tree so we went back like the next day and of course they were sold out so we get online every home depot within like 50 miles of us was sold out of that tree and i was like are you kidding and you couldn't order it so i had to wait a whole year and when they put the trees out this year i was standing there waiting i want my tree and they had it again and i bought the tree and so it's been standing up in my dining room in the box for two months waiting to make its grand entrance hey gail i see your comments pop shelf ah uh, i think you can buy pop shelf online i'm not 100 percent sure the one i bought does not work well Yes, Dana, it is it is a folk art, and Walmart has a bunch of this. Um, the vacuum, is that what you're talking about? Somebody said something doesn't work well. But, um, yeah, this is folk art, and they have it in different colors. Like, this one is gold, and I know they have champagne, and uh, that's all I have sitting out here. But yeah, there's a bunch of different colors that Folk Art makes. And it's a really good product because, you know, your glitter's not going to come off. It's on there. It's like, it's not going to come off. <coughs> I don't know the number of the tree, but in the video that I posted, I showed the box, the label. And then in the comments, somebody asked me for the SKU number, and I took a picture of that too. But, um, so I know it's in the video. But it's at Home Depot at seven and a half foot starry nights. It has 1500 dot lights and you can change it to color or white, which is really cool because I like white. My husband likes colored. I do like the colored too. So then you can just change it back and forth. If you feel like it, he's not home. I'll just turn it to the white. <laughs> he can turn it to the color. Yeah, I do. I show the box in the video. So you can go, go to my main page and scroll down. And you'll see the video and I show the box. So you'll know. Jean, you always use these. I know. They're wonderful. Um, if you don't want to have glitter all over you and the table. And, you know, because it still comes off. But the paint is wonderful with the glitter in it. I know y'all can't see it. But isn't it cute? Now that the Mod Podge is kind of dry. Looks like sugar. Just cheap little Walmart glitter. You love that tree? Y'all going to be like me and you're going to be, it's, I mean, I had it like on my calendar and my phone. Look for the Home Depot tree. And uh, I got it in October. That's how long I've had it. When they started putting those trees out, I was like, uh-uh, I'm getting it this year. Sue, are you the same way? I like the colored too. Don't get me wrong. I love the colored lights. Um, but sometimes you just want white, you know. Um, Donna, it will be tomorrow night at seven o'clock. Everything will be restocked. The trees, the gingerbread, everything will be restocked. So, um, clear spray paint, seal the glitter. Yes. Yeah, seal the glitter with clear spray paint. And I have paint. I have, uh, sprayed like cheap hairspray on it. Cause like when I do this, it's like rain and glitter. Um, Because that glitter is so fine. It doesn't have a lot to attach to. Y'all, it's so super pretty. Yes. So these are super cute. 
wonder if it would work with Santa cutout. I don't know. I don't, let's see how that would work if we did the Santa cutouts. But you know what I want to try? And I almost did it tonight. Let me show you. And I just happen to have two of these. How cool would this be if we did it, did a big tree like this and made it, you know, put them together, a big one. That would be super cool. <laughs> Kimberly has the ladybug vacuum and she can't live without it, right? Yeah, it's in my Amazon shop. If you go to the top of my main page, there's my link tree. My Amazon shop is in there. And I feel like my voice is going away. <laughs> um, thank y'all for the hearts. But I sure hope that y'all give these a try because these are super cool. When you see them in my decor, you're going to be like, oh, there's those snowflakes. I got to make some of those. They're so cute. And I'm thinking, I'm going to have to really wrap these really good when I store them because I don't want them to come apart. But um, look how super cute they are. The, a big, yes, the big tree would be cool. And they have big snowflakes too, guys. Where are the, I don't even have one nearby. But they have big snowflakes like this. You could do this to it. Super cool. Now I'm going to have to go find the big snowflake and do the snow, big snowflake. <laughs> Karen, everybody's project has glitter on it and their shoes and their face and it's in their hair. It's going to be everywhere. No, Bonnie, these, these snowflakes are from Dollar Tree. A little pack like this. I split one in half. And glued it to the other. And did this to it. So now they just kind of sit like this. And the tree was the same way. It was just like this. I split one down the middle. And glued it to the... Well, half the glitter just came off. And I split it down the middle and glued it to the flat one. And made a little tree like this. See? And now it just stands up on your tear tray or whatever. Yep, I just cut them and glued them. And then some of them come like this at Dollar Tree, too. I bought these because I wanted to put them on a shirt, like a blue shirt, and bleach around it like I did the Halloween ones. That's what I got these for, actually. But now they are decor. I got can make two more. Seen a done with a bee. Yo, you have Dana. You've seen somebody do it with the big tree. That would be super cool. And you could do a pumpkin that way. The tree, the sun, the snowflakes. But what made me think about the snowflakes is there and the trees is they're laser files that I can cut that they fit together automatic. So I thought, well, I can cut that and make that happen. Kathy's going on down to the Dollar Tree tomorrow. <laughs> or anywhere you see these little cutouts because, you know, they're super thin wood. I know Joann's has some because I picked up some gingerbread men there. Joann's has wood cutouts like this that you could just buy um, any place like that. Oh, there's Mandy with Western Grace Home Decor. I was telling y'all about her big gigantic snowflakes that she did with the biscuits. So that's her page there. Thank you, Mandy. It's from uh, Misty's uh, shop. But look at my snowflakes, Mandy. I made 3D snowflakes out of Dollar Tree snowflakes to go with your big biscuit snowflakes. <laughs> um, but yeah, everybody's like, where'd you get those snowflakes? Dollar Tree. <laughs> but we just turned them into super cool snowflakes and little trees that stand. Super cool. It, look, it blends in with my shirt. But then it stands up on your tear tray or whatever. Yep, she she was like, Dollar Tree, here I come. Sherry just started working at the Dollar Tree. Sherry, you have to give us the inside track. Multicolored beads. Yes, the little on the tree, put little multicolored seed beads on there. Oh, so cute. So cute. But he works, but you know, he's he's my little gimpy tree. But she could definitely cut the bottom off. 
Oh, do you, Mandy? It'll look good. So, y'all, there's Mandy's page, Western Grace Home Decor. Y'all go check out her page and see that big, she did the big snowflake at Dollar Tree, and she put the wood biscuits on it and some half beads and stuff and made it all so pretty. What about getting Nicole something for that tree? Thank you, Betty. Oh, snowman cutouts will be cute, too. Yes. And the gingerbread man, they have a gingerbread shape, a big one. You could do him like that. Hot glue would hold. Um, hot glue, the, the Gorilla Glue might would hold up. But, because it's going to be cold when you put them out. If you put them on your porch or something, it's going to be cold. It's not going to be hot. Like, 100 degrees. So, I think it would hold up as long as they wasn't in the weather. Yeah, if you want to see my tree, just go back on my main page, and I posted about that tree. It's Home Depot is where I bought that tree. Yes, you could glue the tree to a, a base, and like this one, you probably would have to. Yeah, it's the tree is um, Home Depot, and it's Starry Nights. It's seven and a half foot tall. I mean, we put it out, took it out of the box, put the, put the pieces together. We barely even had to fluff it. And we turned it on. And we were just like, oh, look at that. <laughs> it's so pretty. I waited a whole year for that stinking tree. Beth, I just cut my snowflakes. like They were like this. Okay. And then I cut one down the middle. And then I glued it to each side so it looks like this. That makes sense? So now, they just sit like this. Because I'm going to put them in my front of my fireplace in my stuff. Teeny tiny pom-poms. Yes, I have teeny tiny pom-poms. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> it is gorgeous. I just sit there and look at it. Um, yes, clear coat. I spray hairspray. I use white rain hairspray. If I bring stuff into my house, you know those little... Um, I don't have any right here. But you know the things from Dollar Tree that's got the little sprays and it's got glitter all over it. I'll spray those bad boys down with some white rain. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh, I swallowed it wrong. But I'll spray them with white rain to contain some of that glitter. Because y'all know it goes everywhere. Like this one, I can just do this, and glitter's falling off. Yes, this is my Bucky's cup. <laughs> if you ever never been in a Bucky's, y'all gotta go in one. My husband was like, "Whoa." <laughs> yeah, that Carrie, that brings back some memories. That white rain hairspray, but it'll hold that glitter on there. <laughs> uh oh, Kathy's going to get trees and snowflakes. Trees and snowflakes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I feel like my voice is going away. So, I'm going to hop off. Um, yeah, even Nancy, it will help a little. But, yeah. it. So, if you don't want to use that, then just use the paint that's got the glitter in it. <laughs> Your mom used to use... I used to use white rain hairspray in the 80s. We got that stuff put way up up there. Now, my voice is going... All right, well, y'all have a good evening. I will see y'all Monday night. Um, so, tomorrow night, everything restocks at 7 o'clock. <coughs> so, I'm going to let these dry, and I'm going to put them in front of my mantle, in front of my fireplace. Aquanet, yeah, just some cheap Dollar Tree hairspray works. All right, guys, thank y'all for hopping on, and I enjoyed it. I missed y'all for a week and a half. So, I'm glad to be back. Thank y'all for being here, and I love y'all, and thank you for making my page what it is. And I will see y'all Monday night. Bye, guys.